Hello. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, um, what are we doing? Well, uh, I'm still going to call the series Bounty Hunter. In fact, it's just going to be in the same, uh, same, uh, playlist. You're, you're here. Um, the, uh, the old run is dead, unfortunately. Um, that, therein comes the risks of playing, uh, both on the beta as well as, um, playing the game, uh, in its current state. Sometimes your saves become incompatible and it sucks but you know what can you do what are you going to do about it are we going to complain about it or are we going to play some caves of cud i think we're going to play some caves of cud um, i'm going to jump into role play mode and we're going to make a new character and we're, uh, and we're also going to make a mutant uh, i'm just going to stray stay away from um classic until uh the you know that series debuts basically we're still going to be trying to get all of the achievements and uh, this is also going to be, um, I'm going to slightly change up the series a little bit by offering, um, I'm going to be doing two hour episodes, two to three hour episodes. I'm going to be trying this for the benefit of um, basically gaming the algorithm a little bit. So, you know, if you're, if you, uh, if you're not interested in this, if this is not something that you uh, enjoy, I would actually encourage you to let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments, because that um is going to let me know what you know basically my viewers want and uh, you know i'm trying to uh you know basically i am trying to do this for you for people who find this entertaining uh if you don't care either way then that's great um the idea here is basically um, i'm hoping that view duration for an episode will do more for discoverability than um, many episodes that only get watched for about 10 episodes, uh, 10 minutes. That's the, the idea. That's the theory. Uh, I'm being transparent about it because uh, maybe it would encourage you to, you know, watch, watch the video if you actually want to watch the video instead of, uh, you know, just like coming in and saying hi. But you know, either way, uh, it's, it's all good. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to think, I'm thinking I'm going to make a water merchant because I kind of want to gain the extra, uh, the extra ability to trade, especially for um, obtaining the other pearl, uh, the extra ego, as well as the snake oilers skill is going to be pretty good. I definitely want to pick someone that has a, a starting ego stat. Apostle is good, but I've been playing a lot of apostles, so I don't know if I necessarily want to do a yet another apostle. Um, so let's do Water Merchant. I don't have to take Quantum um, Jitters this time because I've already gotten that uh, achievement. I think it's been either buffed or, or nerfed. I can't remember. It's now negative four. I don't remember what it was before. It might have been negative five to take Quantum Jitters. Um, uh, a little bit sad if it's if it was nerfed because it is a pain in the butt um, but I did I guess um, you know illustrate how it can be used to great benefit especially when com combined with um, domination we are going to be taking the domination skill because uh, that is going to help us get some extra achievements should this run do well um, and let's see what else do we want something uh, I, I do really enjoy um light manipulation i i think this is going to be an esper run by the way uh i i really like manipulation um i kind of want to take precognition is there something we could take that would not uh whenever you learn a new secret there's a small chance you forget a secret i don't know if i like that blinking you teleport about on a, uncontrollably the small chance each round you're in combat that you randomly teleport to a nearby location uh this technique can get you killed evil twin uh, on some inscrutable impulse, a parallel version of yourself travels through space and time to destroy you. Each time you embark on a new location, there's a small chance your evil twin has tracked you there and attempts to kill you. Narcolepsy sounds awful. You suffer from powerful psionic migraines that renders your head extremely sensitive. You can't wear hats or helmets. Bad. I kind of want to just go with quantum jitters again. I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Let's do it. Might just do the exact same run again. Mental Mirror. I liked Mental Mirror, but I want, um, I do want uh, Precognition. Precognition is going to do a lot for us. Um, for specifically gaming certain things, uh, I would like to get Psychometry, by psych but, but Psychometry is one of those ones that's easy to get when you don't have it, so we don't need it necessarily. 
And this seems pretty good. There's probably other things I could get as well. I'm going to go ahead and max out Ego. Um, I know that's that's an expensive take. I get plus two from Water, merch, uh, water Merchants. Uh, I want to max out Will Power as well. We have four remaining. Uh, I kind of want to dump those in Intelligence. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's drop willpower a couple, and um, put a couple in with intelligence. And then, yeah, I mean, toughness is great. I love toughness, you know, except for the fact that it never freaking works out for me. Um, so this is gonna be a really squishy run. I probably am going to die a lot of times, but we'll see how it goes. I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. Uh, you know, death is part of the process at this point. Uh, and I'm going to start at Jopa. This is so that uh, for the benefits of trying to get the achievement to make Jopa hate you. Um, uh, we were making great strides in the last run. It really sucks that it got lost. I, I had quite a few villages and um, things set up for the Slynth because so, like, I have to set that up now. Um, you know, there's a lot of this. Okay, this is fixed now. I guess there's a hot fix, but there was, it was kind of broken on the stream on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explore. Um, all right, we got some rest shift lore. This is always good. And all right, we're good. Now let's go and talk to Mehmet. Hello, Mehmet. I'm in search of wood work. Uh, let's go talk to Argive. Actually, let's talk to our zealot and then kill them. Accept the quest. Listen, uh, you know, I don't know if there's fans of, uh, of the zealot. I, I kind of hope not. Because I've been killing him at the beginning of every run now. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like in a way I'm almost doing Jopa a favor by doing that. Okay, if I was in such, such cave. Okay, find a knickknack. We did it. My intelligence is really not great. We're probably not going to get, like, Tinker 3. We're definitely not going to get Tinker 3. But we're probably also not going to see a lot of other skills for quite a long time. Um, that is just kind of a bummer. That is. We got a high explosive grenade. That's really nice starting. Oh, acid and poison grenade. Those are both really good. We could hand those both in, though. I, I, I'll, I'll get those again later. Just, like, kind of um, shortcut a couple quests. I'll go and get your copper wire, as you say. Um, let's go talk to Elder Irudad. Do you have any Witchwood Bark you do? Let's go ahead and buy it. We have a ton of money. Great. I love starting with just like a ridiculous amount of money, um, but it does make certain things difficult. Why don't we go ahead and drop some of our money? Um, not something I've ever done, really. It's not really a practice I've ever uh, used, but it might actually help us a bit because, you know, we've, now we, we have a lot more room for, for moving around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go um, notice some ruins, huh? Okay, sure. I'm going to go ahead and, and make my way over to the six day stilt. This is a, something I've been doing now. Um, it gets you a nice chunk of XP right away. I saw, huh, this is probably in bad taste to mention this, but I, I kind of, I just, I just kind of have to, uh, I saw someone was, uh, someone gave caves of cut a bad review because, uh, because they were complaining. Oh man. I, I feel bad. Like I don't want to mock this person because you know, like everyone starts, in a different uh at a different point but like first of all they had like close to 500 hours in caves of code and they were saying that the one of the starting quests which is to get to the six day still is very difficult yeah um you know and that was a point of contention they they, they didn't like the game the, you know the game because it was too one of the starting quests was too difficult um, I, you know, Caves of Cud can be very unforgiving. Uh, exemplified, you could check out my stream on, uh, Saturday was brutal. I had an awful time, honestly, playing Caves of Cud. It was, like, really, really nasty. Um, Caves of Cud can be just, like, absolutely merciless. It can just ruin your day, and it definitely did ruin my day. We're gonna have a quick look through this still, just to see what we've got. Um, schematic sellers would be nice. Oh, we've got a guts monger as if it matters. Um, I, I, I have, there's a fleeting, I had a fleeting moment of, yay, a guts monger, because I was playing a, uh, 
Trukin on Saturday. I was like, yay! Gutsmonger. No, not, not anymore. Remember when cybernetics were, like, really hard to obtain? They still are, but, like, you know, in a different way now. Uh, now it's, like, you know, they're expensive. Um, and time's gone past, uh, you know, getting a cybernetic in Caves of Code was, like... A, at least for me, it was an achievement. I was like, oh, cybernetic. I don't even care if it's bad. I just got a cybernetic. It's, you know, cool. I'm becoming, yo, dude. Uh, now it's like, oh, you know, cool. Is it, is it, uh, crystal hand bones? No. Okay. I sleep. Yeah. You know, there's, there's other good cybernetics, obviously. That's not the only bad one. Or sorry, only good one. I don't know what my, my brain is doing. I am, uh, I'm a, oh, we have a Dromad Caravan. I can't stand the Dromad Caravans when they're at the stilt because they are always good for me. Yeah, Crystal Gauntlet. So this is a really good uh, Dromad Caravan. For some reason, they're always good when they're at the stilt. Um, but then they just kind of roam around and it's a pain in the butt. I don't like it. Okay, so we're good. We don't have to go there anymore. We're going to go to um, Red Rock. You're lost. Oh no. Let's go ahead and wait. You're famished. Oh no. Okay. All right. We're no longer famished. Let's wait till morning. You're lost still. Okay. Well, I gotta wait till it's daytime because I don't want to get absolutely destroyed by a dong glider. Honestly, it wouldn't be the worst idea to uh, roam around. Uh, we do have three points of manipul uh, light, light manipulation, so there is a we c there's a chance that we could um, destroy a, or kill a dawn glider. Not a good good chance, to be honest. Really, really bad chance, but a chance. You're lost again. Okay, that's fine. You regain your bearings. All right, cool. Unlost again. All right, cool. Let's move. You're lost. Okay. You, you regain your bearings. Okay. You're lost. All right. Yeah. You regain your bearings, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, red rock. Here we go. What's eating the water vine? Let's let's find out. Let's find out together. Uh, what what is eating the water vine? What could it be? I don't know. It's been many many. Uh, I found out many. You know, one time, one time I did find out what what was eating the water vine. It was something. I I, you know, I can't put my finger on it. It was something though. Uh, all right, we got Lays. Um, we could dominate creature. Let's go ahead and dominate creature. You know what I am really happy about, actually, is not having proselytization. I am happy about that. I'm happy that I don't have that stupid skill. I hate proselytization. You know what? Um, I wish I had a uh, torch. How did Snapjaws live like this? Oh god. Uh I could die to snapjaws. That would be pretty funny actually. Okay, hold on. Um lays that one and then lays that one. Okay, we're all right. We're going to we're going to be very squishy for a very long time, so we got to have to get used to being very cautious. Um, and probably what I'm going to do for a little while is whenever I see a creature, I'm going to throw, um, a, a torch at it. That's going to be what we do. In fact, let's go ahead and put a torch in our thrown weapon slot. Uh, and the reason being is it's not to do damage. It's so that, uh, apparently Snapchat is just like hanging out in the dark. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a torch at them. And then I'm going to dominate them. And then I'm going to pick up... The, apparently this flaming trash. That's pretty good. I've never seen that before. Um, can we equip that? Torch. And now we can see... Oh god, there's a centipede! Oh god. Domination is broken because the centipede killed the snapjot. But we go, went ahead and killed the centipede. Uh, that's... Oh god, oh god, no, no, no. Alright, we're good. Alright, light, light manipulation. Save us. Save us. Um, I'm gonna wait 40 turns. Hopefully nothing bothers us, and nothing did. This is good. Um, do we have another torch in our thrown weapon slot? Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna throw a thrown weapon, uh, sorry, a, a, a lit torch 
at our enemy, not to hurt them, but actually so that they have something to hold um, for when we dominate them, because we're going to dominate them. What happened? You are sucked into a... Oh, Jesus. You're friendly? Oh, you're friendly to me. There's a Rhinox over there. Okay. Let's just go ahead and make enemies to a Kragmensch. Alright, there's that Quantum Jitters uh, getting us into trouble again. Love that for me. Love that I didn't get sucked into that um, portal. That would have been bad. Um, yeah, spooky. Not, I'm not prepared yet to be fighting Kragmensch. Not even close. Let's go ahead and dominate this critter and then kill the other critter. So we've got some interesting critters roaming around. I'm going to go ahead and roam uh, in the dark for a little bit. Domination is broken. That's fine. We've got a centipede. One one shot, one kill. I This is... Oh, are we okay? Yeah, we're cool. Uh, this is one of those moments where you got to... Oh, God. You got to be take every single turn. Kind of... Um, just like take a step, observe, take a step. You got you to gotta be step by step because we our toughness is bad. We have low health. Um... You know, that, those, those are things that I've done to myself, but it, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, early game is already pretty spicy. And I've gone ahead and made it even spicier out of pure um, pride, I guess. All right, so we have a snap jaw. Let's go ahead and just zap him. I'm going to go ahead and come up here and um, wait a couple of turns, like 30 turns, so we get all of our charges back. All right, we're okay. Things are okay. We're pro. Oh, bronze ingot. Yes, thank you. We're probably we're probably at the snapjaw level of red rock. Small cobalt tube. That's a nice find. It's early. There's our a centipede. All right, uh, our lays is doing very well for us. Okay, there's a, something in, got in the way of. I don't know what was what was lighting up that um, brute, but something was lighting up the brute. Are we okay? We're not okay. The bat is not okay with me. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? Uh, I'm at zero charges. We gotta wait a few turns. Oh God, electrofuge. All right. We're we're get, we're okay still. I really don't want to. Oh no. All right. I might have to dominate you, friendo. Oh, there's the there's the snap jaw fort. Okay, I gotta play kind of keep away for a second here. We're not we haven't ended the domination. That was a little bit. Oh god. Okay, this is this is gonna get really bad. Um, time to sprint. But where do I go? I know that, listen, I understand that um, going into the water is going to end my sprint. So I'm going to go diagonal right. Yeah, I figured that was going to hurt. But I am still sprinting. That's the important part. Dog is actually helping me. Um, let's just keep going. This, this is a very classic hit the bricks moment. Uh, I don't think that anyone would uh, blame me for running away from that situation. Kind of want to just like go back to Jopa and um, save some of our stuff. Like we got a bronze ingot out of that. I want I want to keep maintain that um, generation of red rock. I also like I want to play a little bit more cautiously. I've been playing very uh, you know quick and quick and loose, you know fast and loose, and like I like it. I, that's how I, I like it, but you know, like I do eventually want to get a classic win. Um, I'm only going to get that if I play smart and I haven't really been, I, I admit that. Uh, we got some good armor um, in there. What can we, oh yeah, we have like nothing. Could we buy some of that from you? Leather armor, leather boots, and steel gauntlets are all very good for us right now. 
Uh, we don't have the money to even up the trade. That's fine. We've got, I've got my mods back on, by the way. Very happy about that. We've got, we've got a couple of mods on. Um, I've got my uh, quick recoiler, quick grenade uh, throwing weapons. Like I can, uh, oh, those are, sorry, that's quick tonics and then quick grenades. Um, I'm very happy, <coughs> excuse me, to, uh, to get that back because, um, you know, those uh, you get really used to some of the quality of life mods in caves of code and i really really enjoy them like for real they they just you know heighten the game we've got alep we could visit alep at some point i don't know if we want to do that anytime soon though we're very close to leveling up um so uh, sorry let's equip this armor i don't know we have apparently cloth robes on us and we also have woven, woven tunic. I don't know why we have woven tunic. I'm just going to drop this stuff. Okay. All right, let's head back to Red Rock. It's been already a very profitable journey. This, uh, you know, we are uh, basically a water merchant. So, you know, this is the kind of run where uh, profit is, is going to be definitely on, on the table. Is that our friendo dog? Friendo Dog did quite a lot for us. I kind of want to dominate Friendo Dog. But they're not going to have light, so it's just going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, no! I went too quickly. Friendo Dog, please help me. I think they did. Okay, Laze. There we go. The Electrofugue uh, was enough to level us up. Nice. Um, let's, I kind of want to, I'm going to save my domination for that, uh, warlord over there. Let's try and get a nice position here. Wait, dominate. There we go. Um, we've got some snap jaws around the corner. I don't like that because they're going to try and, um, yeah, they're going to, they're going to try and get, get around and kind of pincer me. The, the one downside to... Um, heightened hearing, which is what the snap jaws have, is um, it, it ha it's a double-edged sword. It alerts, like if you can see them in any capacity, they can see you, and I just think that's really unfair. <laughs> um, but that I'm sure it's a very difficult problem to fix, you know, like because how do you make it so that they can see you or you can see them without them seeing you? So once uh, once you've you know once they have seen you, then they um, have pathfinding that lets them come to you and it's it's a you know it's unfortunate uh oh oh no okay um this snapjaw almost ended the domination i'm a little bit worried right now because um you know the worst our worst enemy right now is actually the character that we've already taken we're gaining a bunch of xp as the uh warlord and now they're level two so now they're going to be even harder to kill um, once I end the domination So I wouldn't mind like just dying as them um, maybe to the Gersh Spiderling Some good stuff over there Just gonna go ahead and kill everything as the warlord. It's great because you can like stealth Kill everything our domination ends in 300 turns. So we've got plenty of um, time to basically kill everything and then I'm gonna go downstairs and kill the the Gersh. It's great. Love it. Love this tactic All right, so let's just go downstairs. The, I, I believe the Gersh is downstairs Yeah, they are we could do a little bit of damage Heck if we could kill one that would be pretty good domination broken so now I'm gonna go downstairs and uh Try my look. The problem is, is that we're using Lays, and Lays tends to uh, destroy. Um. So they are badly wounded. If we could kill with, wow, we're using a bronze dagger. Do we have anything better than that? I almost kind of just want to use our high, high explosive grenade. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to switch to our high explosive grenade. And oh, that hurt, but it didn't destroy the Gershling corpse. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna get out. Get out of here. It's gonna blow. 
Honestly, one of the most successful uh, little skirmishes with Red Rock I've ever had. We used up some good stuff, but that's okay. That's like the, you know, that's the point of that stuff. Um, you know, like I, I have a couple of traditional roguelike fan friends. Um, and, you know, like oh, what, what would you say is like the um, best tip for anyone playing traditional roguelikes? What's the thing that gets you killed more than anything else? Is, um use your stuff people just don't use your do use your stuff uh and and that gets you killed more than anything else is it you know you collect the stuff and it's like uh would you rather die with it or would you rather just use it just use it it's free like it's not free obviously but it's on you you've got it you may as well use it fix it spray foam and we have a small cobalt tube what is that rubber gum injector i had an interesting uh i did an interesting thing on uh saturday uh is i uh, i for the first time ever used the rubber gum injector to cheese golgotha uh remember when i did that i don't know any of anyone in chat anyone in the comments remember when i tried to do that yeah, we have a historic site in the middle of the rest uh, rust uh, wells. That's novel. I like that. I kind of want to do a little bit of exploration around swamp. Um, you know, one of th something I've been like trying to do um, is now that I know that there is like a consistent spawn of flattened remains, uh, you know, in the swamp around Jopa somewhere. Uh, and then you can get mechanical wings from that now that I know that now my my stupid gamer brain is like trying to make that happen every time it's like oh yeah I could just like find flattened remains and then get the mechanical wings and then cheese rust wells and then cheese Golgotha it's gonna be good it's gonna be great I love it I love I love to cheese Golgotha why like I the last time I swear to God four or five times I've gone to Golgotha I've cheesed it. Why? Why punish yourself? I'm probably just like eventually gonna do my survival guide of Cud and just like explain, like how 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 do you like do you you hate Golgotha? I get it. I understand. Let me explain how to make it better for yourself. How to how to make Golgotha bend the knee. Um, I because you know it's not hard. There's there's a there's plenty of ways to cheese Golgotha. Some of them more consistent than others, but you know. Never mind. Your domination's broken. Oh you Snapjaw found its way over here. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go ahead and wait a few turns, get our health back. Get our lays charged back. We're already at six lays. The the first you know, six levels of um, of Caves of Cud are a very rapid advancement. Uh, not literally, you know, not not rapid advancement. But you know what I mean? Like, you gain um, you gain a like an attribute very quickly. We're already at twenty seven ego. We have five mutation points. Can we throw some in light manipulation? Not yet. We have to be higher levels, uh, higher level to do that. I also have precognition. I can use it. Uh, ironically, I always take precognition to in order to cheese certain things, but never to actually use, you know, um, with as its, its original intention. I never use it with its original intention in mind, which is like, oh, you're in a dangerous area. Oh, quick save, basically. Uh, you know, I, like playing with precognition in roleplay mode is almost like double like redundancy there it is it is not really much point in doing that but i do it um purely so that i can cheese things without feeling bad about it that's it really is it like i i just want to cheese things without feeling bad about it like don't judge me kind of it you know and like um I, i've talked a lot about this many many times there's really no point in doing this but you know here we go anyway um i i often often have to have the conversation about like what is valid play in cud um you know this game is hard and some people really want it to stay hard like they, they, they want you to suffer people want you to 
have to play in a specific way and in, in basically the most painful way possible and so you know i haven't really i, I i've been more afraid of getting uh catching um a noise basically about playing on roleplay than i really have gotten like i haven't gotten much of any complaints at all i've been way more worried about it than i have actually received like any complaints but i have received complaints for some of the weirdest stuff when it comes to like um <clears throat> you know like recommending mods for instance well you're just making the game easier on yourself yes and that's fine like you don't have to play this game in literally the hardest way and like if you have a complaint about you know me making the game easy on myself i always say every single time there's plenty of legitimate ways of playing the game in the easiest way possible like there's plenty of in-game ways to cheese cud that you know doesn't require mods so i could like yeah manually pick up every single dagger if you want me to um i'm just gonna go ahead and cheese the game in in an in-game way that makes the game easy on myself you know like could once you once you know once you know some of the the, the cheese in it oh oh i thought i died there for a second i accidentally pressed the space button um you know you've, you once you've learned a few things and also once you've died a few times you really don't like you uh, personally speaking i'd rather make things uh make it easy on myself in the ways that i find difficult and also not fun did, did he fall down we're gonna dominate you uh are we enemies i guess so I didn't know that crabs had flurry. Go ahead and kill the hermit. That's fine. Is there anything da dangerous down here? Just that other Isla's crab. Let's go ahead and, and kill him. Oh, wow. I actually did. I expected to die, honestly. I don't expect you to talk, Bond. I expect you to die. There's something really fun about um, using domination and just like killing everything, especially kudzu. Oh my god, I love that. I love killing things, um, killing the kudzu as a crab. I love not having to do that, not having to worry about that, because man, I hate kudzu. Kudzu, uh, I wanna gotta be one of my top ten least favorite early game. Just hate having to like manage your equipment getting broken and rusted and oh you know your bronze ingot got rusted. Hate that. Don't 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 at me with that. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick trip back to Jopa just to make a checkpoint because that was a pretty successful journey. I'm really enjoying domination more and more these days. Domination's really doing it for me. Um, really enjoying just like taking taking a creature over and then like applying my very smooth brain uh, fast and loose gameplay uh, style onto whatever oh no it died oh no okay I don't want to be here oh we're famished let's eat food Oh no! This is not the what? Uh, you know, this is what happens when you get lost in the hills. This is what happens, Donnie. This is what happens when you take a stranger to the Alps. Oh god. No! I, I really want to take over that chameleon because the chameleon has a horn. Okay. We're at the point where we can start smacking. Oh no, never mind. No, we're not. I, don't, I really don't want to take dominate a freaking snapjaw because I'm just gonna die instantly and it's gonna be a waste you gotta manly attack uh, man manly attack you gotta uh, manually attack things otherwise they just kind of walk by I'm gonna go ahead and attack that dog so that they absolutely destroy me wish this dogs could talk tell me how to 
where I am. I wonder, you know, I feel like, um, psychic, um, the psychic mutation that lets you talk, speak. To, oh my God. We found stops, Valen. Yo, what? Yo, what? Oh man, I can't not take advantage of this. Stops Val in this early game? Come on. Oh, oh I should have taken over one of those snap jaws. Oh, that was so silly. Hold on, there's plenty of there's plenty more snap jaws where that came from. Let's go ahead and dominate you. So we have uh, 500 turns to make the most of this. The, the plan is get in, kill. No, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill um, that legendary Snapjaw. What kind of reputation do they have, by the way? Loved by Snapjaws, hated by mysterious strangers, disliked by the Farmer's Guild. They would actually make, um, a, they're a great candidate for, um, oh, I, I, I wish I had Beguiling. I remember when I had Beguiling and I was also almost friends with Snapjaws. That would have been, that was nice. Uh, yeah, they're a great candidate to make friends with. I would love to have some more Snapjaw rep. Domination is broken. That's fine. Are we are they aware of my presence? No. So what we got to do is we got to wait 50 ish turns and I got to go find something worth dominating uh, Ideally like um, maybe a turtle a turtle would be perfect Don't don't you move don't you move. Okay, maybe the dog, actually. A dog wouldn't be bad. Dog would buy me a little bit of time. No! No! Don't you move. Okay, they're moving back. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, over here. A lot of them are running over here just to protect their, um, you know, lord, whatever. So I'm going to move over here and then try and kill like even one of them. And then now that they're there, I'm going to kill a few of them with. Are they going to move over with me? Looks like they tried for a moment. Where did they go? Where did they go? That was weird. One more. Now we wait um, a little bit. We're just whittling them down. I really want stops, Fallon. I really, really want stops, Fallon. Really, really badly. SpongeBob. I want stops, Fallon. Really, really badly. Um. All right. So we're we're pretty much at the point. I really don't want to laze uh, the legendary. I want to, ideally what I'd like to do is dominate them. Uh, they're a legendary. There's a small chance they might have Sunder Mind. So I'm going to actually hang out near the bottom here. Oh, I can't. There's a stupid wall in my way. Um, I don't have any more grenades. I, I really kind of wish I'd saved that one grenade for exactly this specific circumstance. Uh, I do have salves. I don't know what they have. What, what kind of equipment do they have? Anything good? Ring mail, bite, weird artifact, sharp, slender, steel, butcher knife. They have a better knife than I, than I do. I'm envious. Um, let's take out some of their ranged goons. Capacity two weeks. So what I want to do is um, ideally I'd like to dominate them now that they're on their own and then uh, die to something nearby. Of course, the problem with kill. Well, yeah, that's fine because like you know, it's like the question is like if if you, if they die to something nearby, then then I have to kill that something. Not necessarily. Uh, it might be one of my allies. Like if there was a Dromag caravan nearby, perfect. You know, so we have dominated them. We have 500 turns to try and get them killed. Oh, you know what? We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We can just drop the stuff and then run away. Oh man, what what a great idea. I, I Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> why didn't I think of that? That's just such a good idea. 
All right, drop stops, Valen. Drop this, drop that. Sure. Uh, you know what? I'll leave him with some food. It's fine. All right, so we've got 400 turns to basically uh, send them to the moon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill their goon squad. Honestly, they're they're taking quite a lot of damage from their goon squad, but they managed to kill them all. That's fine. You discover <laughs> Ekervashan. Whatever that means. Oh, there's a honey bat, a honey skunk. Perfect. The honey skunk is a very easy thing to die against. You're now level two. I just succeeded. There's plenty of acid here, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and die. There you go. And uh, stops Valen is ours. We also have ring mail. The ring mail is a little bit heavy, but that's okay. I think it's better than what we're using, and it is. What a great turn of events. I'm so happy about that. Oh my god. Yo, that's almost as good as some Zeta Chrome pumps. That's a reference towards uh, Saturday's stream, which you should def definitely check out. Because there were some fun things happening in that uh, stream. Just none of them were what I wanted, you know? Uh, lots of fun things happening, just none of the things that I wanted. We have stops Fallon. That's almost as good as uh like the um the bubble. I can't remember what it's called, the shield bubble. I'm I'm super happy about that. That's so nice. Okay, um we didn't I just came back here to get, make a checkpoint. That was it. Uh we have to go back to the rust um wells. I can't believe we found stops Fallon. That is so good. That is so nice. I'm, I'm like, you knock me over with a feather, honestly. All right. Kill some baboons. Um, let's go ahead and do this the right way. Cause I don't, yeah, I really don't want to have to deal with, um, these kudzu. Okay. We're, we're, we're okay. We don't have to deal with those kudzu. Not necessarily. Not yet. Anyway. Oh God. I could just like walk down, um, ow, a seed, okay, something is shooting seeds at me, I don't know where, ah, wait, are we enemies, no we're not, okay, you're just following me, there's a wire strand, I'm pretty sure that's it, that's all we need, we can bail on this, there is good stuff at the bottom of, uh, rust wells, there generally is anyway, so, yeah, I mean, like, we could come back here. Um, maybe when I've gained a couple levels. I'm just trying to make the easy, quick stuff happen. I'd rather check out a name location, honestly, even though it is a bit spicier. All right, um, Argive. Now, the problem is, is, uh, you know, I've really been having bad, you know, like, experience with trying to get to Greek Gate, especially early game. Getting the grid gate early game is, it sucks. I hate it so much. Like for real, I, I was talking about it on Saturday. Like when grid gate, like when the road to grid gate is mean, like when it just like decides and when it's in a cranky mood, I just like, it, it's so unreasonable. You could just cannot, you cannot speak to it. It's like, do not perceive me. I hate everything including you and and just uh, goodbye and 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 it's just like everything sucks so um this isn't great there's hermits here the hermits are not my friend um hermits that aren't your friend are you know pretty tough early game honestly in some ways hoping some of these dogs um Oh, there's a brute. Okay, we're gonna sprint. Oh god! Space-time vortex. Them, them j quantum jitters will have you. I tell you what, I make for some great, um, you know, easy, fast travel. Uh, but, uh, you know, like, sometimes that's not what you want. Sometimes you do not want that. We got a weird artifact. I'll grab that. It's probably a, um, cybernetic... We can't go north. Oh God. Uh, the pig is not our friend. Nothing is our friend right now. Uh, can we 
Dominate the brute. And what I want to do... Oh god. Another time, time portal. Is what I want to do is I want to divert a lot of the attention away from myself. And also kill something. Oh god, no, that snapjaw is trying to hit us. Yeah, and it succeeded. Alright. What is that? Is that a, like, a kindled? Salty, bloody snapjaw warrior. Okay. Ouch. We don't have sprint right now. You discover some forgotten runes. Helpful. Hey, doggo. Hey, d yeah, there we go. Hey. You guys are going to help me, right? I just need to find, like, a safe location. I'm still being chased down by, like, annoying stuff here. Uh, I have six charges on my lays, so let's go ahead and hit a couple of these goons. Oh, that was just barely okay. Uh, hostiles nearby. We still have this hermit. Hermit still okay. Oh god, the amoeba. I cannot stand amoeba in the early game. No, there's more snapshots. Oh, it just doesn't end. Oh god, a chameleon. Oh. Are we walking into a dead end here? Please say it ain't so. Where are we? We're okay. There's a tortoise. Uh, there's also a cannibal. We can deal with the cannibal. It's the tortoise I care about, actually, because tortoise, you are going to make a good friend here. Wait, is that... Okay, the hermit is an enemy to the tortoise, I think. Wow, the tortoise is really dying here. Just want to get rid of the cannibal. Okay. All right, we're finally okay. <laughs> um... So what are we doing? Oh, we were gonna we were doing this name location. I'm not sure if it's a good idea for us anymore, if I'm being honest. But heck 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 it, you know? Whatever. What is trying to attack us exactly? The boar. There's a boar down there and they will not let us through. I like these sound effects a lot. Our AV is actually pretty good right now. We got very lucky with some uh, armor. There we go. We're down now. Okay, there's a hermit. They are not our friend. So we have to hit them with some lays. The hermits are a little bit tanky. We're going to dominate this lad. What is that sound? That is a really nasty, gruesome sound. No matter who loses here, I win. Because uh, whoever wins is going to be very hurt. And I have probably regained a couple laser charges here. Yep. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and wait. So I get my um, laser charges back. There we go. Things are good. I got a copper nugget. Nice. All right. Why did it have to be hermits? I'm hearing something. There's a robot over there. Some kind of robot over there. Not a fan. Oh, we're out of laser charges. We should be able to kill a boar. I say, I say, we should be able to kill a boar. We should be able to kill. A, we should be able to kill a boar. Oh my god! Get lazed, son. Okay, we're gonna rest in here. We have um, five laser charges back. Six would be better. Oh god. Okay, so that's the robot I heard. It was a turret. There's another turret, I think. 
Um, can we dominate you? Now, hey, good for you, boar. Oh, well, you know, you, easy come, easy go, I think. Okay, um, we're not in a good situation here. We're actually in a really bad situation since I'm waiting. Not like waiting, I'm, I'm waiting, you know. There's a, a lot of water here, and it uh, means we can't sprint. Okay, uh, we, could, we can dominate in 13 turns. Or we can just try and kill them. They are wounded. There we go. We rest. We gain... Oh, oh no, another hermit. Uh, we could dominate you. Let's go ahead and dominate you. And we'll go downstairs. Do... Oh, you don't have a light source. Why do you guys love not having light sources? I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay. Um, we want to wait, get our laser charges back. All six of them. And now we're good. Now there is a... Oh, ouchies. Oh my God. There is a, uh, a turret over there and they can hurt us really badly. It critted for th times three the damage. I'm really hoping we can deal with that. Oh no! Okay, this this place is too spicy. Yeah, that. Just when I was like making the decision to, to leave, that's that's when I died. Okay, that's fine. We're, we're not gonna go back there. Um, where are we gonna go? I think we're just gonna. We could just go to the rusted archway, but um, I think we'll try. I'm just gonna try to go to Great Gate. That's it. Just try. Okay. Wayfaring, yes, and we want, um, oh, we can't get jungles yet. I don't have enough intelligence. Oh my god. Uh, all right, well. I always make the mistake of, uh, not getting hills and canyons, and it actually killed me on Saturday. Actually, actually genuinely killed me, not getting wayfaring for, uh, hills and canyons. Um, because I, I got lost and the, you know, the worst circumstance came about. Also, you probably are wondering, wait, yo, where's all our stuff? Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. Um, why am I not using stops, stops Fallon? Well, I don't have a chart, a cell, you know, that's fair. I do not have a, a cell, so I can't really use stops Fallon. Worth noting. Um, kill that. Oh, wait, do I not have the scrap? The, the, oh, we're enemies. Okay, I have to talk to Argive, probably. Do we have the recoiler for Jopa? We do. Cool. Cool, guys. Um, gave me the recoiler for Jopa with no charge. Really appreciate that. I, I go ahead and find out what is destroying the main source of all of your, uh, you know, economic, uh, agricultural, you know, stuff. I make, you know, basically save the town from sheer destruction and you give me a recoiler for your town and it doesn't even have a full charge. Batteries not included, I guess. Oh, there's another couple of turrets. Wow, these turrets are really uh, becoming a theme, aren't they? I just can't believe that. Jopa, what the heck? What the heck, Jopa? I just don't get it. I was supposed to... Did I not hand in the quest yet? Oh. I hadn't gotten the quest yet. Okay. Fair enough. Uh... Did I hand in the other quest? Do I have the... Yeah, okay, I handed in both the other quest. Um, let's examine this place cell. Um, okay, We're, we have a very good chance of breaking things. Well, we broke it. Okay, I broke my only cell. What? Did something just... Oh, wow. Can we take this stuff? 
I can. Oh, there's studded leather. I, I think that's actually worse than ring mail in some ways. Wow. Um, I don't know if uh, our guy is going to get mad at me for taking this stuff. Looks like no. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's try and make Grit Gate happen. Uh, listen, I couldn't I couldn't make Grit Gate happen uh, without getting the scratch disc because um, I, I can't, I'm not strong enough to fight way droids. It's not gonna happen. It's not so much um, like way droids are, themselves are not a problem. It's everything else, and then also way droids that is a problem. I should find out how long it takes me to fully charge. We got a statue of a greater voider spider. Or just greater voider, I guess. These um these null worms are proving to be actually pretty spicy. And it, uh dominating a null worm is actually pretty difficult as I, as I understand it. Cause they actually have uh their their skull is like plus one ego or something. Maybe they, they, I think they have a fairly high willpower. Okay, now that they're at, like, oh, never mind, they died. They died from bleeding. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get their skull. There is a null worm co corpse. If I had butcher, I could get their skull. Would actually be kind of worth it. Um, let's get that, and we'll get butchery. There we go. Uh, did we not get the skull? I guess it's not... Mm, I guess it's not a guaranteed. It might be that you don't necessarily get, um, the skull. That is my bad. Well, we just got a couple of bronze ingots. That's money in the bank. Is that an acid weep? Oh, that's a warden. <laughs> this is a town? Oh, this is super... I guess we're not on good terms with Zipper because we we're, we've been killing their friends. They're they're the villagers here, or maybe I, I they just happen to have. Okay, yeah, we're 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 okay. Oh, did I accidentally kill a couple of villagers? Oh man, I'm kind of sorry. I didn't know we were in a village. I thought I was in a like a ruin. Brutal. Uh, why are you angry with me? I mean, as if the question bears asking, to be honest. I wonder if I can even get any quests here, now that I've killed a couple members. Like, I may have killed the mayor by accident. I don't think so. I think that red one, that red, red horned uh, chameleon is probably the mayor. Let's talk to them. You're famished. Okay, well, let's see what you, they have to offer. Stripped fruit goulash. Whenever you take damage, there's an 8% chance you get plus 39% max armor, or max HP for one hour. Amazing. Uh, do you have any work here? Uh, I smile on the prominent pentagram that you are here, Nomad. I have a task for you recently, Warden. Uh, that, that would be the uh, weep. Ascertained that a steel battle axe of the hallowed tree has arrived at Cure Third for hissing at... I desire it. You want to hiss at it. Okay. I'm willing to pay for your assistance if you retrieve it for me. Okay. Sounds good. Um, does this guy also have a task for me? Why are there plated null worms here? I assume because of their love for having neither arms nor legs. Okay, you guys share a common love. Um, Alright. I may have killed the other task giver in this town, unfortunately. There's generally two, although sometimes there can be more. I guess there can also be less. What about you? Uh, no. You're just green. <laughs> okay, so we gotta, we gotta find this axe. Um, at Cure the Third. Alright, let's check it out. See if, see how spicy it is. We got a checkpoint, so it's fine. Um, Cure Third. Oh god, it just had to be in the canyons. I know we were going to go to Great Gate, but let's be honest, I don't want to go to Great Gate. Oh god. Right in front of a salt hopper, huh? 
Uh, one of the things I really like about... I'm going to start waiting 70 turns for all my charges. One of the things I really like about Lays is it really is good early game. Um, like, I'm... Um, oh, wow. Oh, my God. What do we got in here? Steel Battle Axe of the Hallow Tree. There it is. I got it. 1,000 XP. You're being watched. Um, that drill bot needs to go. We, uh, we can kill things that give us, like, 300 XP right away. Is that an Iker Merchant? Iker Merchant and Hired Guard. Um... I'm sorry, Trash... Uh, Trash Monk, you are hurting my friends. You need to stop. We have a book binder as well. Scribe, you've got some stuff. What is happening here? This is an interesting place. Uh, we've got a Iker Merchant, not a very interesting one, not in a very exciting one, truth be told. I saw something over here, a jeweler? Jeweler. Jeweler's got some stuff. Nice. Good for them. I'm happy for them. Oh, you know what? Can we sell? We could uh, trade in our, our uh, bronze ingots. Bronze ingots tend to be heavy. They're five each. Um... Look, look at that. They got three rough agate gemstones. So we could trade in three rough... Um, these these are one each. Perfect. Oh my god. That couldn't be possibly more... more. This is... I think this run is blessed. There we go. I did die, but you know, that's... Them's the breaks. Uh, Alright. So now we go, we go back to... Sipper. Sipper. Uh... Sure, we'll check out some ruins just to put them on the map. Uh, I would generally like just like leave right away, but I tables sometimes mean bronze nuggets. Sometimes, very rarely. Um, I've been ve getting very lucky with the bronze nuggets. Okay, so we got I got your axe. You feel free to ha uh, hiss at it as much as you desire. Uh, your reputation with the villagers of Sapur. Increased by 100. Uh, hover sled wouldn't be a bad thing right now, actually. Blood and fear on the cycle, life cycle of law. To entangle their own pages, spring and hair to hair to for. I think that's just a book. I thought maybe that was a um, Schrodinger's page, but it's not. Oh, Schrodinger's page. Yeah, let's get a Schrodinger's page. Uh, let's see books. Where is it? Misk? Salt Waker Family Chapter. Uh, I don't know what the heck that is. I think I'd rather trade that. What is salt water? Salt water. Salt Waker Family. <laughs> We're at negative 500. I think that's probably um, a cult. Oh, that's disappointing. You know, uh, Schrodinger pages are such a gamble. I tend to not go for them because they are always for some kind of faction that I just don't care about at all. So, you know, and uh, that is true this time. So we're good here. Let's go ahead and um, do what we were originally doing, which is to go to Gritgate and die. Oh, God, we're lost in the jungle. Well, we didn't even make it to Gritgate. Frago. Frago's worth a bit of XP. Like I say, um, the light manipulation is good. Very good early game. Helps us get quite a bit of XP. 300 XP for uh, Frago is nice. Fairly easy to take out. Not a fan of getting lost in the jungle, possibly. I mean, it doesn't matter what level you are. It's just like always spicy. It's just always bad. 150 XP for killing a leech. Decent. Oh, God. Okay, time to dom dominate you. There we go. Time to scout out as um, a goat folk. Or just like walk you away and then uh, leave you there. We got some Naftali. We got some frog. Ice frogs. 
Oh yeah, and the, of course the albino apes, they're not our friend either. Okay, well they died a brutal death. Um, I will shed a single tear, never, for them. Okay, um, let's uh, make camp. Conserve our fresh foods. Alright, we're good. Regain our bearings. Okay, thank God. Please do not get lost again. All right, great Kate. We leveled up. We also have some mutation points. I should, um, well, something that worked out really well for us last time was, um, I'm going to use psychometry, not psychometry, sorry. Um, whoops, wrong button. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, precognition and see what kind of, uh, mutations are in our future. All right. Buy a new mutation. Yes. Uh, burgeoning confusion and teleport other. I don't like any of those. Not really worth it to me. So I'm good for that. I don't need confusion. Um, what does that mean for us really? Like, uh, how, how does that like, I don't know. I guess maybe I just won't take any new mutations for quite a long time. Oh no, a bear! Can we dominate the bear? Domination is broken. I'm really not a fan. Uh, Quillipedes can take us out right now. Hoping that way droid does enough damage. Yeah, there we go. Badly wounded. One more should do it. There we go. 325. See, like, 325 experience compared to, like, the ice frog. Where I was killing them in, like, three shots. Why is it waiting 161 turns? I don't know what set it to 161. But, you know, like, the quillipede is much spicier. They've got so much more health and our, our armor, like their quills give them quite a bit of armor. And in order for them to use the quills means doing some nasty damage to us. They're injured. Yeah, this is just like, I, I may as well dominate you. This is such a nice, like the dominate creature is such a nice little panic button. Cause like, it's going to work pretty well. I have very good willpower. That's why I took that willpower is I wanted, I just didn't want to have to deal with it. Like you failed and now you're in trouble against the thing that you're trying to dominate. Let's just auto explore as the Quillipede. Apparently Quillipedes have a long sword. I didn't know that they like their weapon is basically a long sword. I love the sound effect for flinging quills. That's so good. Wow, way droids can't take it. See, the Quillipede is actually quite tough. Oh, wow. You're still not dead, huh? Okay, let's, uh, let's go downstairs and try and die. There we go. There we go. Finally, that Quillipede was quite the, quite the chap. Those are 150 XP, by the way. 125 XP for uh, um, a centipede. The Mirthworms are going to be annoying because we are not tough enough to take them out in melee. Hoping the way droid does anything. Okay, well, it's blocking that doorway. That's honestly not good enough. Let's just go downstairs. I... Oh... Okay, we managed to take out a slug snout. Honestly, very proud of that. The slug snout could have taken us out in one shot. Oh God, uh, I'm sure we, 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 we still have the opportunity to find this out. What I'm gonna do is close this door and then, yeah, the slug, slug snout will only be visible when they're right in front of us, then we dominate them. 
And now we are a slug snout. Now we can slug all we want. Excellent. Oops, pressed the wrong button. Nice. Okay, things are going well. Um, better than the last three trips to uh, Great Gate, I must say. Okay, let's get our, our laser charges back. We've got them back. Good. I kind of don't want to do an auto explore. I, I feel like it's just uh, things are too spicy to uh, justify it. Okay, there's our staircase down. That's actually pretty good. And we're going to go. We, we should we sh should be able to get to the gateway. The gate for Great Gate. Small turquoise tube. That could be anything. Could even be a boat. God, how many times have I made that stupid joke? Holy crap. Uh, ah, oh, ooh, we got an Isakari, Isakari rifle. Um, not bad this early in the game. And we're just, a, oh God, wow, we really got swarmed there. Oh, and I didn't wait for our charges to come back. Terrible. Bad. Okay, let's wait now. Why? Uh, why? There we go. My torch went out for some reason. My dude decided not to light a new one. I, I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, it's it's turned on in my auto. And, uh, and we were out of lays, so we didn't have any natural light. Okay, well, we are here. We made it. We'll get a little chunk of XP. This is good. Complete the step. Got the got got to level up. Put the thing on there, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Mafio, and we can maybe get some ammo. Um, we don't have good agility at all, so the gun is really just going to be a kind of a stopgap if we you know are in a situation where we need to shoot at something, and we we are out of. Um, please. Also, let's... Can you repair this thing? Five drams, sure. Don't tell me what it is. Fidget cell. Wow, that was not worth it. Wow, that was not worth it. Damn. Electrified steel battle axe. Oh, there's a cell in there. That's the good news. Um... What are we hoping for for melee? I kind of want to get a, um, gaslight something. So that I don't have to, uh, you know, worry too much about um, penetration for strength. Usually is what we're what we're hoping for. Um, yeah, all of this is kind of whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and equip our fidget cell so that we get a charge from it. That's where we're at right now. We're like in a weird place right now because like good things are happening. We have a fairly strong build, I have to say. Um, and yet, I'm in a situation where I have to wear fidget cells. What a strange predicament. Uh, let's buy a small stone and we'll sell an acid gas grenade, I suppose. Um, also, this... I kind of want to keep the electrified steel battle axe. It's not bad. Could be good money. Or, a, a, you know, good as a weapon. Not selling stops, Valen. I, I should really start using that. Uh... We'll sell these copper nuggets. There we go. Perfect. We have ourselves a grid gate recoiler. We don't have any cell for it. But that's okay. Actually, I should just ask Mafio to um, go ahead and identify this for us. Uh, what, a, what a grift, honestly. It should be called grift gate. For Mafio to sell us a recoiler for Gritgate and then charge us to tell us what it is. What an absolute maniac. Alright, we can leave. Um, we don't really have to deal with anything. Uh, one of the easiest roads to Gritgate ever. Blessed run, honestly. So that is nice. We should, um, I kind of want to just like go to the rusted archway. Get some stuff here. 
always worth doing the rusted archway there's some fun stuff here now um they've uh, updated rusted archway a couple times maybe just the ones actually okay uh kill the tortoise i need y'all to kill the tortoise Time to dominate the pig and then kill the tortoise. No! Oh my god, pig. You suck. <laughs> Got a free punch in there. Cannot be a cannot afford to miss, honestly. We got a laze. Shoot them. Something is attacking us. From wow, we almost died and I didn't even notice what was happening. Where am I? Oh god. Get out of here, centipede. As soon as I have my laser charge, you're dead. Yeah, that's how that went down. Okay, we're gonna rest. Uh, something is that you see a giant centipede to the northwest. Okay, yeah. Well we're gonna miss quite a lot of times. That's gonna happen a lot. It's good damage when we actually hit. Yeah, like 27 damage. That's like really good. So we may as well like take a few shots and then hit them with the lays maybe. Um, where are we going? Oh, we're, we're at our destination. This is what we're trying to do. <laughs> we're at Rusted Archway. Uh, you see a borer to the Northwest. Okay, let's just go ahead and laze them to death. Nice thing about Lays is it doesn't miss. Yo, wit never miss. A little bit worried about accidentally hitting... Oh, there's a chain turret over there. That's really bad. Okay, alright. That is a fairly dangerous threat now eliminated. Uh, we had the range benefit on them because we couldn't miss them, but they absolutely could miss us. So that was pretty good. Uh, centipede. More centipedes. Where is that centipede? I see a tortoise. I don't see a centipede. So tortoises take quite a lot, a few hits. We're famished. We should eat some food. Uh, another tortoise. Uh, I accidentally took out the thing they were fighting. Nice. 10, 10 damage. Really nothing to scoff at. Alright. Um, I, I just want to go downstairs at this point. Okay. Yeah, we can just go downstairs. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, chain turret. God damn it. lived from the turret like killed the turret but there's another turret behind it classic could classic case of could you put another turret behind the turret especially a chain turret why would you do that okay um i don't have the means to cheese golgotha this early i would like to get the extra achievement like the bonus reward for completing it by level 12 um, but I don't have, I don't, like, I think I need 60, like, at least, at least 61 health in order to survive the fall. Um, and I don't have wings, so I can't be cheesing, uh, Golgotha. So I could go to my old standby, which is to get lost in the jungle and then die. That's a, my favorite pastime, honestly. Go folk village, yay! Oh god, we're... We're... Oh, no. What? What did I do? Oh, no. Oh, God. All right, well, I accidentally saved here. Didn't mean to do that. All right, we're going to dominate you, friend. Oh, it didn't work, huh? 
Didn't work, huh? We failed to dominate you, huh? Now you're going to chase this down forever, huh? Okay. All right, fine. We will figure it out. Oh, God, there's another village over here. And you are still chasing us down. You regain your bearings. Can we leave? No, we can't. Okay. Hoping they get lost. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Um, where was it going? We're going back to the swamp. Discover a lair. That's exactly what we want. We want a lair. Um, you know, sucks that we have to, you know, talk about this again. But, um, I would like to, uh, find a bunch of layers and, and look at getting reputation again. That's kind of what we got to do. We got to grind up a little bit of reputation. There's a lot of reputation that we are going to want um, in order to make certain certain achievements happen, like frogs being the main one. Uh oh, where am I? At least I'm still on the surface. I'm in the ruins. Oh, there's a slumberling. Uh, where am I? Oh, God. I am very far away from home. very very far away um let's make questionable decisions yeah let's make very questionable decisions i want to go to okay yeah this is where i die i want to go to um eat freehold Yeah, I figured I was going to die. Uh, I wanted to go to Eat Freehold because I do have the money to actually buy the recoiler. And we were pretty close, so, you know. But it, it didn't happen. And, you know, it's sometimes it just isn't going to happen. Uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, this blessed run. As soon as I said blessed run, um, things started to fall kind of apart, didn't they? I did find a lair for the jilted lover. Um, I would love to have, uh, you know, followed up on that. But yeah, we're just going to go. We're going to hang around the swamp. We're going to try and find some layers. Um, do I, can I get swamp uh, wayfaring? Yes. So why don't we get that? And then I'll just use that to try and find some like points of reference, like important stuff. Like, I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit. This isn't really my ba favorite method, if I'm being honest. Like, it's a very chance-based thing. Um, legendary dragonfly. We're friends to dragonflies. This, this might be good. Um, I'm, you know, we're not... Um, what shot me? Seed? Okay. You, you just made enemies to dragonflies. Um, oh, shoot. Assault hopper dominate you I uh, I just need to find some layers and get, find get some reputation that's really all it is and uh, you know it, we're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding I don't have beguiling I don't have any love injectors so um, it's very much a mixed bag right now unfortunately uh, that was true in the last uh, character, but I had, had managed to kind of grind my way up a little bit um, So it does kind of suck that I have to do that again, but it, You know like if, it, if I wasn't playing that run, I'd always play a different run You know like it's, it's just more caves of cut in, in a way We have a that was a seed sprout worm Quite a rare find actually. What is that? Oh, that's a mimic Yeah, 625 XP. Heck yeah, bud. We can take out a Mimic at this point. I love Mimics. That's just like free XP, basically. Okay, let's uh, go down into the lair. Oh, there's our friend already. 
Uh, disliked by the Isakari tribe, disliked by newly sentient beings. Um, I would like to be... No, Isakari tribe, I'm, I'm fine. Let's, let's make... Let's break bread. I would like to be on good terms with, uh, insects. That would be kind of amazing. Um, yeah. Like, uh, being on good terms with insects really... It just like kind of cuts out a lot of noise. There's a lot of garbage, like just annoying enemies that um, all kind of fall under the uh, the umbrella, including like salt hoppers, for instance. Those are insects. Um, you know, obviously dragonflies. I don't know why dragonflies. Dragonflies must be like winged creatures or something because they they don't count. But yeah, like there's a lot of creatures that just sort of strangely fall under the guideline of, of insect I got stuck in some webbing or some tar I guess I, I would really like to stop getting stuck jeez I gotta wait through the night oh, we're hungry we may as well eat some food All right. Uh, we should be able to take out snap jaws at this point, but it still takes us like three hits, apparently. Oh, we got um, engraved furs. Oh, engraved desert crit, uh, crit, Chris. Nice. I used to really like exploring the salt desert, and I still kind of would like to do that. Um, I've grown very kind of I have kind of grown fond to exploring the marshes It's a little bit safer and um, it also means we find some more interesting kind of layers and stuff So uh, we got a albino legendary albino ape here loved by apes hated by the villages of Shanna I'm not a huge fan of that um I could just decide that this is the village I don't make friends with, but I villages I really need reputation with for for the purposes of the slinth. But you know, a, a reputation is good. Learning conch for 150 reputation is tempting, but I don't have the strength to really make any of the melee builds work. Probably it's going to be short blades because I'm going to probably get a gas like Chris or something. And we got a fungal, fungal forest. Uh, what are we seeing? You see a croc. Where? To the northeast. Oh, it's like outside of the v v view of my screen. Where are they? I don't see them at all. Oh, there they are. Dead. We only get 7 XP from that now. I kind of uh, always feel a little bit bad once the um, once we're out of the early game of Cud. Like the very early, early game where killing a croc feels like an achievement. Killing a bear feels like an achievement. Because then you have to waste your lays on crocs. And it's just like, uh... Okay, we're 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 moseying at a pretty good pace. Um, not really finding anything too exciting. No layers. I know I this is probably not exciting for people. I I hope it you know it is entertaining in any respect. But like you know I could do more exciting things, but like grinding up reputation. It's tricky. It's not, um, there's not really any straightforward way of doing it. Um, if you want to get certain reputation, you just kind of have to do it. You just kind of have to like, you know, wander around and, uh, make friends, make enemies. Um, and you got to do it in a safe way, you know, so you, it's got to be the salt marsh, which is not very interesting necessarily. It's interesting when something pops up, for sure. 
but it's not very interesting outside of that. Are we? Did I? Oh, I just hit it. Dragonfly by accident. It's just, you know, honestly, we may as well do the salt desert. I haven't done it in a while. Um, and it may as well. It may as well be the desert because the night, like I've, I've said it before, but the nice thing about the desert is that there's nothing in your way, you know? There's nothing to block your vision. And um, that may, makes it easier in some ways. We could go and pick up Isakari rifles, but I don't really want to. What we're looking for in the desert are uh, probably legendary anything. Um, Dawn gliders are good because they're going to be easy for us to kill uh, with a full charge, not, not a half charge like that. And there'll be good XP for us. I don't want too much XP because I do want to get the extra reward for killing or defeating uh, Golgotha by level 12. So one level is, is, is what I'm willing to do. We've got an Acid Weep. Okay, I may as well wait for our... Uh... Well, we're getting 100 XP each from these Zizakari. I had no idea they were so valuable. There we go. Oh, one more. There we go. Level up. So we're level 12. Uh, oh, Vast Mind. Okay. Oh, we're already... We already have enough Glimmer, huh? We're, we're already on the map. Um... So what do we got here? Is this anything to be worried about, really? Not much. Okay, we, we can just laze them to death. Twenty-five XP. It's uh, weird to me that we don't get very much XP from those guys. Hoping for ego, obviously, but you know. Okay, we got a. Bad news bears situation here. Why can't I see a walk? Oh, no. So they're um, they're all enemies. Could try and take out the legendary, but I'm a little worried that uh, their friends will get in the way like immediately. Loved by birds and unshelled reptiles. So you know I've been in this situation before. I would love to make friends with that particular uh, you know person. What I'll do is I'll mark it in our journal. Um, Legend Dawn Glider. And, uh, we'll probably have to come back and, like, make, uh, you know, dominate them or something. I don't know. Do something, some tricky business. You're famished. That's fine. We'll eat some food. We got a Dawn Glider here. All right. Yeah, it's it's more of this, but at least it's faster, you know. That's the nice thing about the salt desert is at least it is faster. So it's 3 shots per dawn glider. Are we at 7 charges yet? No, we're not. Can we level up light manipulation at all? No, not yet. Wow. It's cuz the uh, ego is basically basically keeping it up keeping it at pace with our level up. So our ego is high enough that we can't really, ooh, we can't level it up anymore. So we've got a legendary Servant of Toe here. Uh, loved by the Seekers, disliked by two different villagers. So I'd like to destroy them. I've been in this situation as well and it tends to not go well. Um, so let's, let's see. Oh, we got a Dromad Caravan. What kind of stuff do you have, sir and or madam? 
Um, ape for gloves. Iron weave cloak is pretty good. It's actually really good. Nylon body pack is obviously very good. Uh, the nice thing about the, um, it's very rare to find a back item that gives you AV. That's why that's good. Uh, glow sphere is obviously a nice find. Oh, scaled iron buckler is also good. So we can, we have, we can just shortcut, um, unshelled reptile rep, basically. And what can we give you? We could give you our rough agates, obviously. I'm not opposed to doing that necessarily. Uh, give our merchants token. I forget what this does. I don't think it's anything. I think it's meant to be traded. Uh, I wouldn't mind trading a little bit more. We'll sell the Schrodinger page as well. So I have a little bit more water. Nice. And I'll go ahead and wear that stuff now. Uh, where is our shield? Yeah, it would be nice to wear. Oh, you know what? Stop spelling is three AV. We should wear that. Um, even if it, we don't have the ability to use it. And I'll wear that so we have unshelled reptile rep. Uh, yeah, pretty good. That's actually, you know, all good stuff. And uh, also the glow sphere. So now we have we have a light source even if we have no um, light uh, manip. So uh, we could take this guy on. I'm not sure. Is he impossible? Tough. We should be able to take him. As long as he doesn't have like create a bubble and then also sunder mind. We'll do one more. Okay, so that's that's how you break that connection. They do have teleport. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. That's how that works. He might have dropped something good. Probably not. Oh, he did. He dropped lots of nice things, actually. And he has a Nullworm skull. Exactly what I wanted. It's not even Christmas. The knife. Oh, and he had an electrified gaslight, Chris. Exactly what I wanted. I can't believe it. And two chem cells. This guy had like everything I, I've been saying I wanted. And four sphinx injectors. Don't, don't those give us mutation points? Or is that uh, the eater's nectar tonic? What do these do for mutants? I always forget. Uh, immune to confusing attacks. Your activated mental mutations cool down twice as quickly. This item is... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Um, asterisk. I don't care, really. I, it's nice. It's uh, nice. I just kind of wish it was something better. Like, it's just such a bummer, because, like, True can get freaking precognition. They get freaking time travel. And then mutants are like, yeah, I mean, you, you get a uh, better cooldown on your mental mutations, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. I mean, yeah, it's good. I'm sure it's great. I've never really used it. So, you know what's going to happen is I'm going to use it once and I'm going to be like, whoa, this is actually amazing. It's predictably what happens like every single time. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound that great. And then I use it and I'm like, oh, this is actually amazing. Why didn't I use this before? I want to, can we do we have enough uh, things to use shields? Yeah. We need like agility and strength to be able to use shields, but... Um, shields are not a huge ask. We should be able to see sh getting like the rest of the shield tree. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we go 17, 18, 19 strength um, and agility. That's not bad. That's fine. We can get that. Nope, never mind. Good. Good God. Fastest gun in the West. First try. <laughs> okay, get our, we are at seven charges now. Would really love to get some permanent ego from some of these uh, vast animus mines. We're just continuing to zoom up. We do be zooming. We uh, are gaining um, 
in uh, XP at a pretty steady rate. Oh. Uh, one more. We'll have to shoot them. <laughs> uh, yo. <laughs> you can do it, friend. I believe in you. First try. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. The second time. All right. Oh, uh, nice, nice trash. You know what? I'll mark this on my map. We don't have neither trash dividing nor scavenging, but I'll mark this on my map. Trash. <coughs> and in case you know, so so we can get some secrets and uh, bits later. I don't want to wish. I want to wait. We still are only have 24 HP. And I'm at level 11. That is insane. I have never done a run as squishy as this, but I'm kind of enjoying it, honestly. I'd, I like glass cannon, especially with light manip, because it's just like easy. Oh, we got a kraken. They tend to leave nice trash in their wake. Uh, we could like dominate them. I don't know. We could do something fun here, maybe. I've never dominated a Kraken before. Uh. Oh, well, they, they're, they're down here with us. What was that? Salt and crooked. What? Oh, it's a speed seed spitter. Oh my god. I'm I'm six strata down, which is, you know, more than I was, but not too bad. There's some stuff down here to kill. There's lots of amoebas, unfortunately. But we are making short work of them. There we go. Nice. I knew that gun would come in handy. What is this? Ooh, feathered ring mail. That was a, that would actually replace what I what we're currently wearing pretty well. Um Yeah, let's equip that. And spiked steel gauntlets I think are actually pretty good. Small box. <laughs> actually that shield it's it's a heavy shield. We'd have to equip it like in our hand. Um this is some good stuff. I do like the uh, eyeless crab shell. I think we can't afford to pick it up, to be honest. Uh, we definitely, we're using steel gauntlets, so spike steel gauntlets are just better. And then we'll drop this and this, and we're good. We, you know, found a little bit of an upgrade down here. It's nice. Nice little treat. Oh. Wait, you're not blaming me for that. Okay, good. It's like, buddy, that's not, that was, what happened just then? That was not my fault. Okay, so, um, there's both mirthworms and turrets down here. The turrets are really proving to be a menace to me. We do have a gaslight, Chris. I don't really have reliable charge for it yet. Uh, okay, so we're level 12. Does that mean... Okay. Bonus reward for com completing this quest by level 12. We can no longer afford to level up again, unfortunately. So you know what we could do? <clears throat> um, we have some chem cells. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a chem cell in our grit gate recoiler. And I kind of just want to do Golgotha. And I don't mean like cheese it. I mean like do it. We're gonna do Golgotha. Highly not recommended. Like just not a good idea. But we're gonna do it. And I think it should be okay. Well, if we get very lucky, it'll be good. Um, is there anything that you can sell us? 
chain mail would be uh, i think an improvement not really it gives us dv but i don't care about dv at all right now um wow you sell taco suprema how long has that happened silver nugget oh buy, sell me a silver nugget actually tell me what these strange tubes are mechanical wings when did we pick those up that means we can cheese golgotha also mafio you absolute grifter was gonna buy my mechanical wings for 50 drams but like let me know oh by the way those things are worth 500 what an absolute madman um all right so this kind of changes everything i'm gonna sell one of our luminous horse shrooms uh yeah good so we don't have the intelligence i think to take jungle wayfaring do we that would be really good right now we don't we need 19 what are we at 18 okay well i probably do this every single game but i'm gonna put one point into intelligence just to get jungle uh wilderness lore and then we're going to uh run over to uh ezra a lot of things happening in this episode a lot of things are going to happen in uh two hour long episodes i hope i hope this is doing it for you i hope i hope that you are enjoying this um so we're going to run over to ezra and i'm going to grab the secrets to banana technology some ruins sure we'll check out some ruins real quick probably uh, not recommended but we we got away with it so we're good banana technology unlocked we also want to buy a ezra recoiler okay let's just do an explore There is a person here, by the way. I think that um, we either need to kill or just dominate or something. Uh, they wield two different swords. Um, I don't know. It might actually be Zotham. I, maybe not. But anyway, someone here does. It might be the one that like rarely shows up. They're like rarely here. So, I mean, we could start buying crystal gear if I was inclined. Um, not a terrible idea. Boots, for instance. Uh, the thing I am more interested in, however, for now is the recoiler. And that has been, like, made very expensive. Although this one's only 121. So, I mean, still expensive, but not um, outrageously so. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I guess I could just sell our silver nugget. There we go. Easy peasy. We got our... Silver nugget, and I'm going to go ahead and buy some banana. Just go ahead and sell me both of those. We've bought some banana. That's the important thing. Now we're going to go ahead and recoil. Uh, our grit gate recoiler is drained because that's that's how much a fidget cell is worth. Uh, we'll go ahead and just throw a chem cell in there and use it. Now we're going to go to Grit Gate. There's still a chance we could die by this, by the way. Like, mechanical wings are, are not a guarantee. If I fail my first check, basically, I will die. But this does guarantee that we pretty much um, succeed at defeating Golgotha uh, without having to do Golgotha. I love cheesing Golgotha. I don't care. Listen. It's generally just fun for me oh no oh they got mental mirrored and that created a time uh, vortex sucks dude oh no we have okay so someone is a someone has been correcting me on how to pronounce this and you know the thing is you you may have told me how to pronounce it but I still don't know so now we just get nothing now I'm just going to refer to it as a Puma. It's just a Puma now. Forever. 
I'm gonna jump it down into hey uh, by the way a nice way of cheesing another way nice way of cheesing Golkatha I've just found out is uh, just dominate something and jump it jump down one of the shoots and that way you get to find out which is the shoot crab uh, shoot and turns out it is this one the middle one so but we don't have to do that because we're not um, plebs we're gonna instead unlock the t secrets of banana technology. Psychometry. Here we go. Oh, wait. There's a quillipede in here waiting for us. And our shield has already come in handy. That's nice. All right. Now we're going to equip mechanical wings. And, uh, you know, hope for the best. There's only basically one way this can go wrong. Um, we have awful agility, by the way. All right. So we're here. We've got a gibbon. The gibbon is fortunately our friend. Thank God. Why is there a gibbon down there? There must be, um, the only thing I can imagine is there's a legendary ape has like spawned down here somewhere. So now all we have to do is find the way droid. Um, you know, hopefully we get lucky. We did get kind of lucky because we found, um, the chest full of junk. Uh, we need to drop some stuff to pick it up though. What could we drop? Light source? Let's drop all these torches. Perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not meaning to do any of these things. Drop the torch. We don't need these anymore because we have a glow sphere. Okay, we grabbed all the stuff. Uh, and we are very close to being encumbered. Unfortunately, that means that if I pick up the weight droid, um, then, you know, bad. That's, that's what that means. It means bad. So we could drop these leather moccasins. That'll help a little bit. Um, maybe those bandages. Uh, I don't know. We'll drop this thing of honey. It's nice. Actually, you know what? Let's drink some honey because we're probably going to be um, trying to, you know, say, stave off diseases with a stick. Looking for a... Oh, there's a way droid. Perfect. Now I just need to get back without dying. Easier said than done. Goopy, sludgy, acidy, gloppy, gluey. Cybernetics, credit witch. We got very lucky. We managed to find both the chests. Um, just double check before I go that we got everything. Yep. That was great. That was absolutely fantastic. One of the best Golgotha experiences ever. Clean all your items. We didn't even, like, catch, like, a, a tiny bit of disease. Oh, man. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, I feel really good about that. All right, now, um, I meant to, actually, before I went down, it's a good thing we had it, such a good run, because I meant to shove a, a, a new chem cell into our grit gate recoiler, because, um, you know, that takes a turn, and you don't really want to be fritzing with that. Can't recoil while there are enemies nearby. All right. So that means we're going to get a masterwork scoped carbine. Which is nice. We gotta repair uh, this raid uh, way droid, and then give it to them, and we're off to the races. Hello, Otho. Complete the quest step. Got a hologram bracelet, three thousand XP, um, and probably a very good missile weapon masterwork scope carbine on this on saturday i did get very lucky here i got a um water cooled masterwork scope carbine so that meant like an extra like shot bullets per round which was really really cool uh we definitely want to 
use this over the Isakari rifle. Uh, ready to discuss the thing? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Talk to Q-Girl. Everyone's favorite character. That's not a slight towards Q-Girl. That's just a slight towards people who can't get over Q-Girl. It still boggles my mind. Um, informs me that you have a method. Thing, thing, thing. All right. Um, also, apparently... Yeah, you've got jewels and you always have a cybernetic credit wedge. Um, I don't really need that stuff. I've got the hologram bracelet. That's going to be good. So we've actually got some really good stuff. We've got the hologram bracelet and we've also got stops Fallon. All I need now is a reliable method of charging all of those things. Um, biodynamic cells would be really good. Is all I'm saying. Uh, what kind of reputation do you have, Q-Girl? Disliked by one village, but admired by another village. Hated by succulents. We can make friends with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, a location of the snapshot who wields stops Fallon. I mean, they don't wield it anymore, but... Hey, uh, teach me tinkering, why don't you? And also how to make thermal grenades. That's a, kind of a nice find. Nice that I don't have to um, waste points on learning tinkering. Disliked by mollusks, cannibals, and water barons. Um, I'm okay with all of that. Have some more rep. Uh, teach me how to craft thermo casks. That's kind of cool. I think there's one more here. Is Mafia legendary? Some of them are legendary and some of them aren't. And I can never remember which ones. Is Darty legendary? No. Uh, Hortensa. I can't remember. There, there's like specific Barathermites that have like... They're, they've got really good stuff. Some of them are tinkerers. A lot of them are tinkerers, actually. Um, over the time, over time, I've learned that Gricke actually is just, a, 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 it's an amazing town. It's got a lot of stuff that is not, like, instantly visible. Jacked. Um, Jacked is not going to be in any way good for us. Ch a gas like Chisel isn't bad. I really wish, um, like, data disks for guns, or not guns, sorry, um, weapons, would tell you what it like tell you the stats on that weapon and not just the description of the weapon. Freeze grenade is really good. Um, kind of want to buy that. Is it Tinker One? It is Tinker One. Kind of worth it. We could uh, we could trade a rough agate for that. Um. Okay. Who else could we talk to? Spirifusile. You have high explosive grenade mark one. Oh, biodynamic cell. What what tinker is this? Tinker two. Well, we could possibly do tinker two in this run. It's gonna be tough. Um. Oh. Is this even worth buying now? Like I can't. Uh. Listen, I know I I would love to grab this. Um, I just don't think it's worth it because like we I'm not gonna be able to do tinker 2 for Ages, it's gonna be honestly an eon before I see tinker 2 So it's just not worth it. I'm sorry to say Like uh, by the time I am close enough to tinker 2 that I could start thinking about it. I'll probably come across um, Biodynamic cell again Like it it probably will Oh, it's it's not a big deal. Let's get rid of, I'll get rid of that acid gas grenade. And how about you tell me what some of this stuff is? Ezra recoiler. Okay, well, I, mean, I mean that makes sense. Uh, grenade launcher. We could sell that. Combat shotgun. Let's sell that. We we get very good prices for this stuff because I have snake oiler and I also have very good ego. So hence what. You don't have okay well let's uh make this deal happen and then i will have the required business ganglionic teleprojector what when did i get that okay well you know what we have to do now right that's right we gotta get chromed it's it's uh, basically tradition at this point 
I, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I'm never going to apologize for getting chromed because like given it any thought at all, um, they're probably going to get rid of this. Like the, 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 the area where you get chromed is it's janky, you know, let's be honest. It's janky. Um, and there, you know, either the caves of cut devs have something planned and they're going to, uh, develop it or they're going to remove it. I would love it for them to develop it, but if they do develop it, chances are they're also going to nerf it. Is my, what I think. Nice. So I, I have to take my advantage you know, I have to take advantage while I can because like there's plenty of things that I didn't get to take advantage of like, um, you know, canned have it all when that was like top tier when that was a top tier uh, get when that was a top tier uh, exploit. I didn't really get to t take advantage of that. I really I would have loved to do that. Oh, man, I'm not paying close enough attention right now. Luckily, we are like starting to become overpowered. So it's all good. Um, so I, while I can, I'm going to take advantage of getting chromed every time I can, because I, I just sense that one day it will not be as good anymore. And that will be a sad day because I love it. It's such a weird thing. Like people are always surprised when you tell them about it, you know, like I had someone ask, um, you know, what, how did you even find out about that? Uh, word of mouth completely. Am I in the right spot? Is it just in the center? Yeah, I think it is just in the center. It's just, it's just word of, oh, is that cloning gel? Oh, okay. So that, that it looks like cloning gel, but it was actually... Uh, this is wine and salt. Um, I could cook with that. Could cook with that. Lush salt. That will make my meals taste better. Yeah, like this, this whole rumbling thing is very strange. Um. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta, we gotta put on our ganglionic teleprojector. We gotta install a cell on it first. Equip. Auto. Actually, I, I probably shouldn't have done this yet because um, it takes a while for it to become to, to actually function. Like a while. The teleprojector beeps. There we go. Yeah, it takes a long time for the teleprojector to work. Um, is this the... Is that the grafter? I guess so. Um, so let's go ahead and use it. Take control. And have I already been chromed? Tessellating in tiny chrome scales. Yep, I have been chromed. I don't know. I guess I'm slipping a lot, but anyway, I'm 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 good. What is happening? I'm not pressing any buttons right now. I guess I pre I queued too many commands. This is why I gotta get used to the new um, movement manager. Yo, how much are you slipping, my dude? Uh, is this just going to keep happening forever? Okay. All right. You know what? Let's end the episode here. This is a good place to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed this long episode. Um, if you, we want to go longer, I can, I can try and make that happen. If you don't like two hour long, um, caves of code episodes, then definitely let me know in the comments and I'll take that into consideration, but, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see how the experiment works and how it, how, what it does for, uh, you know, viewer, 
uh, numbers and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.